So everyone who's reviewed Metroid Dread has called it a hard game. And I'm here to say it really isn't, and I swear I'm not saying that as a flex. I've played and finished Metroid Dread at this point, and I'm working on other playthroughs. And I died, a lot. I would walk into a boss room, have no idea what I'm doing, and die. Then I would walk in again and have some idea what I was doing, and then die. And then I'd have a little bit more of an idea what I was doing, and die. But eventually, I learned the patterns of bosses, and managed to do just fine. But once again, I, I don't matter, this isn't a flex. The other reviewers that played Metroid Dread had the same experience. Very few people managed to beat bosses on the first go, but within a few minutes, most bosses were handleable. Other experiences I shared with the majority of Metroid Dread reviewers were that you didn't really die when exploring. Most enemies were easy to handle. Most hazards were easy to handle, unless you were trying to do some particularly tricky exploration tricks. The game pretty effortlessly guided you to where you needed to go next. It was very hard to get lost, and even if you did get lost, there was no particularly wrong place to go. And as far as save points go, the game was very forgiving. Dying to an Emmy put you right outside the Emmy zone. Dying to a boss put you right outside the boss zone. I'm not special. I had the same experience most of these other reviewers had. So what I'm trying to figure out is why they describe that as hard, and I would describe that as fairly standard. And not fairly standard for a Metroid, or fairly standard for a Nintendo game, or fairly standard for a hardcore video game. I just mean fairly standard as game design goes. One of Metroid Dread's major flaws, in my opinion, is that there are no difficulty levels. You can't tune the difficulty to challenge you just as much as you want it to. And that does make the game inaccessible to some gamers. But I also find it weird that having to die or fail ever is counted as hard. In fact, Metroid Dread is a very teachable game. That's one of its strengths. Every boss seems impossible on the first go, but then on the second and third go, you learn a little bit more and you get better. And that's a hard design to do well without being frustrating. And most of the reviewers don't call Metroid Dread frustrating, they call it hard but fun. And I'm wondering if hard but fun just means doesn't have a difficulty level but fun? Because it seems that any game that doesn't have a difficulty level slider ends up being hard but fun. I think difficulty adjustments and accessibility issues are great and every game should have them. But I also think we're getting our language mixed up here. I don't think Metroid Dread is particularly hard, I just think it's rigid. It doesn't let you change difficulty, it doesn't let you map controls. It lets you play in its space, it doesn't play in your space. And yes, that could be a flaw, but as far as raw difficulty goes, I don't know. I would call games like Celeste hard but fun. Metroid Dread just kind of feels like every other game I play. But maybe you just don't notice the deaths as much when you can change the difficulty level. Weird thing about game review psychology, I guess.